Okay, so we have this videos module and it's been living out in the wild for a little bit. And now we decide that we want to make an update and add a, a couple features maybe. And we need some new fields um, to support the update that we want to do, to support these features. So what we're going to do is create a migration after the fact, aside from our uh, initial setup migrations, we're going to create a new migration to add these fields and assign them to the stream that we want. So to do that, we're going to use the make migration command just like we normally would in Laravel. So we're going to use PHP artisan, make migration. We're going to tell it the add-on that we want to use or put it in. And then we are going to designate a fields migration. And this is going to stub the migration a little bit differently. It's the same migration class. It's the uh, streams platform migration but it's just stubbed out a little bit differently that's um, best used for creating fields. Ah, we forgot the name. Create, uh, let's add a URL field type, or a URL field. And maybe this will just link off to a resource or something like that for the video. Okay, and if we go and take a look at that add-on, migrations, you can see that's created this field, or the, the field migration here. And this is very similar to the first one, and so you could easily name this uh, create new fields or create version two fields and define more fields uh, in here, but instead I'm just going to define one. Okay, and now what we can also do is I can either um, create a new migration to assign this, which um, is kind of nice, but I can also um, define the stream and assignments here. And since the the method is kind of the same, the, the arguments are the same, I could easily, um, you can see stream is defined here. I could easily define it here and do everything in this migration. And what it'll do is it'll see that the stream exists, skip it. It'll uh, uh, migrate the fields and then it'll migrate the assignments that I, that I can put down here but for now I'm just gonna make two migrations just to show you the the two different commands so we'll keep this as is and then we're going to create a new one and I'm gonna call this one assign URL field and again this could easily all be in one migration I'm just showing you two here for the sake of showing you the stream migration and we're going to assign this to uh, videos. So if we hop back over there we see the assign URL field and this has the uh, videos uh, stream and we already made this back here in this migration so what it's gonna do it's not gonna create or update or do anything with this um, with this stream what it's gonna do is use this stream for the assignments and if we had fields defined in here um, we could take this and copy and paste it into this one and just do away with that other migration, but it uses this stream um, for the assignments. So what we're going to do is add our URL, and it's not going to be required or anything like that. So let's run this and see what happens. We can easily do uh, migrate, refresh, and designate the add-on like we normally do, but another good one to know is PHP Artisan. Um, migrate and we won't refresh I'm sorry we don't want to refresh we just want to migrate so let's just do all add-ons there we are okay now let's go take a look at our add-on real quick pop in here let's edit one of these okay uh, let's see here series and here we have our URL field and this is just default uh, form I don't think we have any kind of sections or anything if you reload this and you don't see it maybe you have sections for your form defined and you're not including this field so just something to keep in mind as you update stuff now all you need to do is define the uh, translation keys for the new field and to do that we can come over here language field And there we go. 
just like that. So now you can, for instance, uh, make like a new branch in your repository. You can add the logic that you need. You can add these migrations um, to support that the new features. And then when people um, up, update, all they have to do is run that migrate all add-ons. And after they've brought in your, your new version, they'll run all the migrations and you'll get the, the supported features. Your code base will already be set in place to accommodate those new fields and you'll be good to go. Um, there's one other way to migrate some things. Let's say that um, maybe you don't want to use these, um, these shorthand uh, migrations. Maybe there's a little bit more logic involved in this migration that you want to do. So another way you can do this is uh, let's make a new migration. Uh, make migration create something else add-on equals videos and we're not going to define whether it's a field or a stream migration at all and we hop back over here and you'll see that this one looks a lot like a normal uh, Laravel migration and if we look at what it's extending it's extending the same migration that all the others do and if, if we view that one it just extends the, the Laravel migration again so it's nearly identical. Um, there's just a little bit of extra logic built into it to do some cool stuff. These are very helpful. So the um, the fields method returns a an instance of the fields repository, streams repository, and assignments repository, respectively. So um, one thing to note here is that you won't get the guessing. So the only thing that will be guessed is the namespace. So the slug and everything has to be, be defined just like um, just like the database requests it. So the slug has to be defined here. Um, the type has to be defined here. And if you do like a name or anything, then you can uh, translate that like this. And those you can leave um, empty, but a lot of times when you're migrating, you'll probably want to you'll probably want to define something when you're doing it this way. Uh, so name would be English name, and if you had other um, languages that you want to specify here, you can just do this. So this is a good way to do it if you have um, more logic involved in what you're creating. And what will happen is this will, just like a normal repository uh, or create method on a model, this will return the field instance. So down here, what you can do is, um, for example, uh, field, you can just pass the field object. So you're creating, um, oops, you're creating the assignment with the field, and let's say you uh, get the stream and let's define that oops this streams and you can do for instance find by slug and namespace uh, so let's see slug would be videos and namespace would be videos so you could do something like that and do um, kind of the exact same thing, but you can inject a little bit more logic. Uh, you know, it, it just depends. This is helpful a lot of times when you're creating, uh, when you're adding fields um, outside of an add-on. So if you just create this migration, um, if we create something like this, but we don't designate a migration or a, an add-on to put it in, it's going to put it in the default uh, database migration and what you can do here is add fields to an add-on maybe in core or whatever and these migrations in the database folder are ran uh, during an installation of pyro they're going to be ran last so they can be helpful for kind of scaffolding up like a, a typical setup or something like that um, we use something like this to uh, set up um, common snippets and common variables that we always use and uh, set up some automatic page types and things like that so we keep them here so that we don't have to store them in core and um, we can just run them every time we install and they get ran they get ran automatically so that's very cool just keep in mind that you're working directly with the model in the repository here so you have to define things like namespace slug um, you know the stream and everything like that you have to define those um, manually and you can find information on that in the in the database structure 
because again, you're working directly with the model um, and you can also find some information in the documentation. So that's how you would work with migrations after the fact. Um, a very common question. I hope that it makes sense and leave any comments or questions in the comment section below.